Here's a game, Oregon Trail, with the DLC. Uh, this is basically just Oregon Trail, but in a zombie apocalypse, as you can see, evidently, from the main menu screen. Uh, different in many ways, it's much more action based than uh, Oregon Trail, but at the end of the day, uh, the core gameplay remains the same, you're travelling from point A to point B, and you've got to manage resources. You've got your wee team of intrepid explorers coming with you. Uh, let's just dive on in, no reason to hang about. Uh, ignore that, that was me just testing out. So we'll just start again there. Uh, game over, we're just going to be playing on normal difficulty. I've played through this uh, vanilla before, just the, this just the director's cut without the... Ah, I can't remember the name of the DLC. I'll, uh, I'll put it up on screen. Um, yeah, I've played through vanilla before, so hopefully we can handle all the new stuff in the DLC. You do actually get to pick your character and your uh, car and such like now. Would we be a pretty lady? Let's be a pretty lady. Why not? Uh, let's play the intro just so that yeah, you get the whole get the whole shebang, so to speak. And uh, this is the basic premise in terms of Kalan. You draw uh, you draw a, a line opposite to what you're trying to shoot. I uh, missed missed horribly there. And again, good lord. And there you go. Yeah, that's basically uh, how you point and shoot. Anyway, Va there's various different uh, mini games involving just uh, running running about and stuff like that, so that's obviously like wazzed. But unfortunately we're out of ammo, but before the undead hordes arrive, this little fella comes along and he just blows them all away with frightening ferocity. Good lord. Well then, it looks like I've just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Well, we can be Edinburgh, because that's where I'm from. This picture, the pleasure's all mine, Edinburgh. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Well, I do. I know my other pals. Sydney. Cork. Cardiff. And Ram. And they should be around somewhere if you find them. See, it's like it's a wee bit like, it's a wee bit like zombie land. You can see what I'm doing there. <laughs> anyway. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they'll be at the shelter set up in DC, if they have any sense that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you're you be you'll be surprised at how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. And then, uh, unlike in vanilla, you do actually get to choose your shell. I love that one of them's a UFO. You do get to choose uh, your vehicle, but because I've not played through this DLC before, I uh, don't have any of the other vehicles. But that's no problem. We're just going to go station wagon. We would have been going station wagon anyway. And here we are. I think mo most of the gameplay, uh, most of the mini games take place in this sort of format, just wazzed and. Um, or arrow keys, if you're weird like that. And uh, yeah, you just drag in, drag and shoot, and that's pretty much, pretty much it as far as the gameplay goes. But it's good, they keep it fresh. There's like, oh shit, how are we gonna get that thing out? It's wedged in a bloody fence. Clements, you sold us a lemon. There you go, alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road, I'll drive. They won't be able to see us in our gilly suits. So we've got 135 miles to Washington DC, we better get, get fucking on with it then. Here we go. Clements has a broken arm, true to form. Welcome to, welcome to Oregon Trail. Clements, Clements, no. And then we carry on furthermore to DC. He's got dysentery, he's just shitting out the back window, leaving a trail wherever we go to be followed. And he's been bitten by a zombie, true to form. There you go, way to go Clements, he was just wandering about taking a piss in the bushes and one of them just came lurching out. That classic trope, and to top everything off we're out of fuel. Well, here we are in Washington DC, thankfully. Look at them all just strutting around the place. I like this guy though, he's like, fuck me, what happened? Uh, just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, they coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington DC, the government has declared a class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Click anywhere to continue. Let's do it. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that's supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. 
And now we get to knock together our starting supplies. Unlike in uh, Oregon Trail, this is just limited by time rather than by cash because obviously money is meaningless. It isn't really though, money is still important. Now, I cannot remember the meta to this game whatsoever, so I'm going to work under the assumption that fuel is going to be expensive further along and get a lot of that. We'll get some, about 250 food to start us off because we'll probably be able to get more of that. Now, ammo I remember being pretty worthless because 200 ammo lasts you virtually forever. But if we get 400, that's us pretty much. We'll see about that. Although, classic, you should get as many of the repair parts as you can afford. And... That seems fair to me, actually. Yep, looks good. Maybe, possibly, could be. Basically, uh, fuel, that's your car. Uh, if you run out of fuel, I think you do continue, but it's really, really slowly. Uh, med kits you can use at will to heal your H because your characters actually have HP in this one. They aren't just limited by illness. Uh, money is money, like buying shit. Uh, battery muffler and tire for repairing the car if things go awry, ammo for shooting out of your boomstick, and finally, food for chowing down while you're on the lane. Carry on, shall we? Your friends join the party, there they are. Look at that, that is just movie reference after movie reference. Don't know about the dog though, don't know what that's meant to be. Uh, yeah, let's carry on. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back out there on the road, one of those things about me. I'm already not feeling too well and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me there. Why don't you keep my journal? Let me help you out there. Go out. And so, unfortunately, we've got to put him down. Shit. Sorry, Clements. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's horrible. He's like screaming on the floor, but we can't afford the bullets, so we have to just leave him to die. And uh, this is new for the DLC as well. Uh, you get to choose your... Uh, you get to choose your jazz, uh, which 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 route you take to get to the west. Uh, you didn't get you didn't used to get to do that. Um, well, I'm uh, I I reckon radiation. That's just that's that's just sketch. Don't need that shit. Presumably there's been some sort of incident. That's storytelling there. Um, so let's head up to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh? I think it's Pittsburgh. We'll go up to Pittsburgh. We can actually view the map. Not bad. I like these big. What happened here? Why would you nuke the cent the center? What's there? There's nothing there. That's just the swing states. Uh, anyway, let's go up to Pittsburgh and let's and well see what happens on the way. 276 miles to Pittsburgh. Carry on. A military blockade appeared in Peter Progress for an hour. Great start. Just an hour though. We can afford to lose an hour. I'll briefly check the. There you can see our stats. You hit a wicked jump, but botched the landing. So, yes. Um, again. The station wagon also has HP. You discover that Ram had some extra food hidden for themselves. They're like, Ram, for fuck's sake. Ram's just like, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to eat, but unfortunately, I had to hide it from you. Sydney's like, for fuck's sake, I told you. I've what have I told you? You can't. Everybody's really shocked that she said I swear. Uh, your car, st you car starts making a loud noise. The muffler has to be replaced. Jesus Christ, we've had a... We've botched the start here. Spend an hour helping strangers bury their loved ones. Well, I mean, if you're going to spend an hour doing anything. Cardiff just like, we should always respect the dead. Your battery broke, but you were able to replace it from supplies. This is a shocker. We've already lost a muffler and a battery. Let's just stop briefly. Get a, like, get a wee lay, like, lay of the land. So we'll talk to a stranger. We encounter no one. Um, uh, yeah, well, well, we're here. You can rest. Typical fare. Uh, med kit, just if you need to buff somebody's HP up. Kill. You can just put down your uh, teammates if you're running out of food or something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, switching over to the car. Uh, you can repair by using scrap. Uh, and that increases the percentage chance of healing. Yeah, you like, you like do or you don't. I personally really don't like this mechanic, but it's necessary. Uh, upgrades, we don't have any upgrades. Uh, set pace, typical fare. Uh, slow, normal, turbo. We'll stick it on normal for now, no need to no need to mess about. And then the road map, which we've seen already. Uh, you can also scavenge, uh, where you just like get random, I think it's random supplies. Trade, uh, where you can look for trade opportunities. Uh, rationing to change how we eat, small, medium, large. No need to no need to mess about with that right now. And combat training, unless you just practice with your, uh, with your offensive techniques. But at any rate, we're coming up on Pittsburgh. Oh, we've seen someone in the road ahead. A random event! No? Maybe? 
Okay, we just pulled into Pittsburgh. No worries there. Now, now that we're in a major settlement, there is uh, various things that we can pick and choose from. You go to the auto shop, you can uh, buy various bits for your car. They are, they're, they're fucking expensive though. Uh, today's special is an upgrade for tires that never burst, I believe, which is which isn't too bad. You can also pay for repairs, which uh, overwrites the uh, the percentage chance system. But the interesting thing is uh, jobs. Uh, we've got a recovery job. A crate fell out the back of our car on the way to town. Can you go and find it? And graveyard. There's something hidden at the back of the graveyard, but it's too spooky for me, and it's eighteen dollars. Well, for eighteen dollars, I'm willing to show that off. It is difficult, though. Gotta be careful. So basically just got to, oh this is new that's pretty cool uh right how about we'll go shotgun then whoa what is this shit this is new uh okay so oh fuck oh what have i done what have i done run run this way oh, i'm giving them the old giving them the old oh i got bitten fuck <laughs> what happened did we die did we lose hp Okay, well that was a disaster. That was a, that was a disaster. It's a demonstration of that. I'd never done that before. Normally it was a, the, like a scrolling screen left to right, but that must be a new mini game. Uh, hopefully this is what I was looking for before. We'll take the shotgun again. Yes, this is what this is what I expected to happen. So that was like a sort of maze scenario. It's pretty cool. Uh, there are different zombie types. This is a fat one. I think he takes more hits to kill, whereas the regular is just phew, missed entirely. Got ourselves a wee crawling one there as well to be feared uh, but yes we can absolutely tear through them she's running she's like why the fuck did I sign up to this shit ah if you shoot the if you shoot the fat ones they slow down what is that thing what are you oh god almighty well this is a disaster this isn't going well to start with but thankfully we aren't dead Edinburgh has been taking hits I'm just like ah I'm bleeding they're just like shut the fuck up man so we better actually pop a med kit and well, that was a complete shit fest. So how about we uh, we go for some trade opportunities? Encounter nobody, not a single person. Let's see if we can wait for a little while. Wait for an hour. A stranger is willing to trade twelve of their dollars for ninety-two of our food. Are you trying to be funny, mate? No, that's a terrible trade. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, could do a brief scavenge, see what we can find. Uh, and yes, this is basically let's take the pistol this time. This is your uh, your typical Oregon fair, uh, where you can, well, run around the place and collect shit that appears in the map. Much oh, he's got a gun! What the fuck was that about? I never knew that you had to deal with rival survivors. Get away from my shit! Jesus Christ, this is heavy as fuck. We got nothing. Well, we managed to keep two dollars, so there's something at least. All right, well, let's get out of this shithole. I am not behind this at all. It has been far too long. This game is hard. This game is hard. Talk to a stranger. I ran into this giant zombified bear thing. I kept shooting at it, but I could only slow it down. It wouldn't die. I was lucky to get out of there alive. So, yes. As you can see, some of the difficulty in this game relative to the Oregon Trail is in the actual... Yes, we do want to leave town. Is in the actual uh, the gameplay of it rather than anything else. So we're heading down to the mall, which has light supplies and money scavenger. Money scavenger sounds like something cool. I imagine that's an upgrade of some kind. Let's head out and embark on our journey. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently massive in size and appears to be agitated. All right, so here we go. This is the equivalent of a river. Horde size is massive, and the horde disposition is agitated. Uh, so it's probably better if we just sort of wait to see what happens, maybe let them cool down a bit. They're, they're large and they're alert, so we'd rather not, rather not have them alert, let's wait a little while longer and see what happens. Maybe they'll peter out a little bit more. Still large and alert, let's break out the guns and clear our path through. Oh, man on! Oh shit, we lost 48 food and one fuel, not the end of the world, but at least we didn't die. The station wagon's looking a bit shitty though, we'll have to repair it when we next get the chance. Come on, on the road! Sydney is getting nervous and asks you to drive. <laughs> is you going too fast? Slow down. Slow down. I don't like it. Everybody's getting really frustrated. Your battery was sabotaged by a bandit. What a bastard. How did that happen? You think we'd have somebody on watch for that kind of shit? So we're carrying on. The sun rises in the west. The road is impassable. Finding a way around takes an hour. That's fair. I wonder if that shows the seasons. I don't even know if the seasons actually factor into this game. You find some roadkill, it's probably safe to eat, and probably is what we work in in this journey. A 
and here we are as we pull into mo in, in, Whoa, no, we don't. The battery's broken again. We don't have the supplies. We need to fucking trade for one. This is a disaster. Combat trainer. Find more money than anything else while scavenging. That could be pretty cool, but we don't even have remotely enough money to uh, to get. Yeah, combat training. You can have uh, three combat techniques that do vary. They're basically just like base upgrades that would give us more money while scavenging. There's various other things like faster reloads is very useful. You can get an increased movement speed, which is invaluable. So I don't think we'll really focus on that. We will check the two jobs. We've got a graveyard job for one battery, which is what we need, and a defense job, suicide difficulty. So I'm not going to be steering near that. I don't think we've got the technique. I'm going to have to go for the graveyard job though, just in case we get the battery. So uh, let's do it. We'll just have the. We'll, we'll stick with a pistol so that we can keep moving with some force and speed. It's looking like we've got this in by the balls. Do we have to actually get back? We fucking do have to get back as well. Jesus. Bam. Bam. No! What was that bullshit? I shot right at him. Nonsense. Ah, oh, right, let's uh, heal me up again, Edinburgh. And then, uh, do we rest? Could rest for a little while just to get everybody else's HP back up, but it's really not that important. And we don't, I take it we don't have a, we've not got an auto job place, so we're going to have to trade to try and get a battery. And people are going to fleece us, they'll be like, for all of your bullets, lol. Stranger is willing to trade one of their muffler for 22 of your dollars. That's a shit trade. We don't want that. Carrying on, we are running out of uh, food as well. One of their battery for one of our tire. That's a fair exchange. We've got two tires as well. We installed our new battery. Good one. So now we can actually leave. But uh, yeah, we are looking a little bit peaky as far as food is concerned. Uh, let's see what we can buy. That's not a very good going rate. How much is food? Four for one. Four for ten. That's not too bad. I bet we just buy 50 more and then uh, scavenge next time. We're in uh, we're in another town, not bad. Uh, is there anything we can sell? Any good going rate? $8 for med kits, but I think it's best to keep our med kits. Uh, we can't really afford to rest, but we'll give... Uh, where is it? There we go. We'll try and repair the car. We'll use four scrap. What is this shit? Whoa! What happened there? Alright, so now you repair for a little bit more. Alright, I understand how it works now. Alright, well let's do that again. We'll use four. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, spot on. Fuck. Perfect, great miss, near miss. I'll take it. That's a C. Nine for a nine plus two. No bad. No bad at all. Okay, well that's... Uh, well, that's different anyway. So the station wagon is in a decent state. Uh, let's just peel on out of town. Uh, don't have any options. We're heading to Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indiana. Sounds fantastic. Off we go. 170 miles to Indianapolis. Do 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 do. In we go. Ram sits too hard on Phil. <laughs> Fuck you, Ram. Honestly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been putting on weight recently, and I apologize. Everybody's like, oh, I'm so hungry. That probably brings us down to like 34 food or something like that. We really need to... We really, really need to... Yeah, we're out of food. We're plumb out of food because our arm's fat arse. So let's go scavenge. Jesus. Right, I'll take the pistol again. There's some scrap down the bottom. Right, let's... Uh, dead shot. Missed. Shit. What's next? There we go. Uh, that's some more scrap. That's not what we're looking for. Need to get some food. Are those barrels maybe some... Uh... Maybe some food. Don't know if you get like uh, more for. Oh my god, what a massive reload! There's a scavenger. I'm terrified of him. What if he shoots me? Ah! Ah! He's coming to get me! You bastard! Ah! Oh, you were attacked by a zombie, but we managed to keep two scrap. We're gonna have to go out again. We didn't get any food. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick to the basic rifle until we have. I realise that my audio is probably maxing out something fierce whenever I. Uh, Whenever I scream with woe like that, so I do apologise. Money? Big sack of cash? That's something. That's something we can definitely get behind on this trip. Let's try and thin the herd a wee bit. Because we're going to... Oh, bloody hell. Missing some questionable shots here. There are so many more zombies than I remember there being in this game. I remember this not being the hardest thing I'd ever done. Oh god, how wrong I was. Oh, just about, just about, and um, we're free. Bam. I wonder if those 
Oh, there you go. We found 140 ounces of football scavenging and we also found $50. That's not bad at all. Lovely jubbly. We are ready to get back on the road again. We've got tons of scrap as well, which is quite nice. Uh, three med kits, 151 ammo remaining, uh, 27.25 fuel. Okay, so uh, because there's like the shotgun and stuff, evidently ammo is now going to be a little bit more precious. But combat training, all right. Uh, but uh, that's that's not to worry about right now. $82 looking nice. We could buy an upgrade with that. But uh, yes, let's get back on the road. Anyway, the station wagon is in a terrible state. We'll have to pay for repairs at some point. Carrying along, there's Indianapolis, we can see it, we can smell it, and we're nearly there. Lovely Indianapolis, alive up there, probably not anymore. Okay, dokie, so what's here? We've got an auto shop, thank fuck. Uh, we've got jobs, what are the jobs? Two tires for a dangerous recovery mission. Two tires is pretty good, let's go for it. And off we go, uh, probably best to stick to the rifle until we have... If we had a, if we had a reload upgrade, then the, um, the pistol and the shotgun would maybe be a little bit more viable. Not you! You awful, awful creature. That's probably... They're they're terrifying. They were not in the vanilla game. Unless they were in the vanilla game and I just simply do not remember. But either way, let's just clear our way through. You'd think that would attract more of them? I'm not scared of that. That just means more killing. Let's uh, stop all these. These really make you... Before, you could really just sprint your way through this easily. He's the most important one. The little... Witch ones. I'm assuming that they are meant to be witches from Left 4 Dead. Oh my god! We've got an absolute entourage. Where is this godforsaken package that we're meant to be picking up? Oh dearie me. Music stopped there for a while. Oh there it is! We're so close, we're within reach. <laughs> we got an absolute squadron. We made it! Hooray! What did we get there? Two tires. That that they could come in useful. Good for trading if nothing else. But at any rate, let's get to the auto shot. What's the upgrade? Carrier never lose a gas can. That could come in useful, but I think we should probably just pay for repair. $22 for that much repair? You fucking running an absolute bloody mob. Ah, disaster. What a racket that was. Uh, right, so we're, we're gonna have to just try and repair the car ourselves again. Let's use eight this time. We go, oh, lovely, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm ready. Bam. Bam. Bam, fuck, bam, fuck, bam. Done, perfect, okay, great, perfect, okay, miss, perfect, near miss. I'll take it, I'll grade B, 16 plus five. All right, so the car's in a slightly better state than it was before. Still got plenty of food. Uh, no need to set the pace, do any upgrades, do any parry, uh, rest, med kit, kill. Could do a rest then for a couple of, for a couple of hours. Zombie activity, deadly, oh shit. What'll happen, maybe we may, we may just get bitten. Fuck it. We'll just, everybody that will be fine. Heading on out. We're heading to the farmland. Could buy some body armor. That could come in useful. Uh, at any rate. Oh, we head up. We do we do a big northern swing uh, further along. That's interesting. 254 miles to the farmland. Tally ho, lads and lasses. Let's just do it. Oh, shit. You probably shouldn't have eaten that. Everybody's stomach hurt. We're all like, Ugh! The cook's like, oh. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm so sick of ill. I'm fucking done, son. I think you see someone going on in the distance when you get out of the car to investigate. Yes, that's always, I'm always keen. You enter a small police station, there are a few bodies on the ground and dried blood on the walls. You hear a gentle voice coming from one of the jail cells. You there, would you do me a favour? Let's inquire. I just need you to give me a piece of that zombie over there. Points to one of the police officers whose head is missing from his shoulders. They put me in here for biting people. I don't have the disease, but I wish I did. I'm not a bad person, I just recognise a new world order and I won't in. It's not like I can hurt anybody from in here, I'll just be eternally at peace, immoral. Alright, so, uh, what? So, scroll to see what I am scroll. Alright, there you go. So our options are, drag the corpse over to him and shoot him. Well, I mean, fuck it, we're in the apocalypse already, what's the worst that could happen? You leave- Alright, so he's- So we got some ammo, uh, as he eats infected meat. Presumably as some sort of sad suicide attempt. That is, that is, uh, distressing, but he was in a cell. You run over a particularly sturdy zombie and it hurts the station wagon. Bloody hell, I've seen it all now. Gummed up in the fucking wheel it was. I apologise if I'm offending anybody. Um, you're out of water and you can't find anybody. Everybody's dehydrated. This is an absolute disaster. We are never going to make it to the safe zone at this rate. We're going to have to relax at the fuck. Ram wandered off and can't be found. See you later. I'm going for a piss. And <laughs> they were never seen again. 
Oh, Ram, no! Ram, no! That poor, poor robot. The farmland. Like anywhere to continue. Okay, dokie, so. Body armor, 20%. Like 20%, that's really not worth $80. Right, now we need to reevaluate and reassess the situation. 12 ammo is worthless for something like that. Two medkits, though, for our recovery is not bad. Let's do it. Two medkits is a good bet. Taking the rifle and off we go. Wish we were a little bit faster, but maybe we get to maybe we get to amend that in the future. There's a nice trees area. Mostly a straight line to get to where I'm going. Jesus. Bam. Get away from me, you freaky eyeball thing. You terrify me. Let's try just briefly. Pew! Yeah, pew! Oh, right through them. Couldn't have aimed better if I tried. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting overcome here. That's fine, I can sort of snapshot my way to victory there. Jesus Christ, look at this squad that we've got behind us. It's like in The Walking Dead when he was running back to Alexandria, if you've seen that. And... Safe. Easy peasy. Two medkits. Lovely. Uh, not gonna fuck about with 12 ammo though, that's a shit reward for a shit choice. Um, Okie dokie, right, let's see the like, I can't believe Ram just wandered off. Uh, right, so I think we should probably rest up for a little while. Four hours should be fine. How much food have we got? 54. We're gonna have to scavenge for food before we leave as well. Um, it might even might even be worth scavenging for food and then resting for a little while longer just to, just to make sure. Sorry, pardon me, I'm just getting hiccups there. Go fish! Excuse me? Fishing and instructions. Fishing has the same benefits as resting, plus you can catch extra food or spare parts. Once you hook a fish, click to reel it. Oh, is this going to be that classic fishing minigame? It is. Oh, let's do it. Right. What on earth? Oh, get it, get it. Sick it. What am I doing here? Am I just clicking while it's in the green? That fish is mine, like. That fish is mine. No, what? He's off with my bait, you bastard. Oh. Alright, let's try that one again then. So they still get to heal up, but we just didn't get any. Oh, let's do that again. I want to catch some fish. Let's do it. And then pew! Come to daddy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we got a wee tiddler. That's pish. We can't even be rocking that like. Come on! And we got it. We got a wee minnow. Lovely. Got a clam, getting one ounce of food. Oh, and you can collect the, you can collect them all. That's adorable. All right, so I think we're looking a wee bit, we're looking a little wee bit less dead. So uh, how about we medkit up Edinburgh, maybe to full? Nah, leave it like that now, because we are going scavenging. This town is taking a little while, but needs to be done. Needs to be done. You get the fuck away from me! Shot right in the face. That was brutal. No survivors here, we do not wait, we do not talk. Zombie activity low though, so we've got ample opportunity to get all this shit. I don't like the look of that money bag that's just sitting on the right though, that's begging for something to just spawn in on top of us. No need to, no need to, oh shit, no need to look after ammo. Alright, so even if you're, even if your character's just looking at them, they still uh, clam up. Never understood that as a trope, That's that's been a thing even before The Witch and Left 4 Dead. Like, there, there's always been a sort of thing about zombies or undead or witch creatures that don't like to be looked at. I never understood that. 40 ounces of food while scavenging, $50 and 15 scrap. That's not bad, actually. We've got a fairly, fairly large chunk of money. Uh, let's see if there's anybody to trade with. One more thing, and then we are gone. I will be, I'm open to buying food. What's our option here? Food, $5 for, $5 for 10 food? That's not too bad, actually. Let's get 50 food and head on out of 85 money. In case we get robbed, we should be laughing. Right, let's get out of this shithole. See you guys in hell. Up to Chicago. Hey, Chicago. Decent supplies and rain tires. Let's go for it. Back on the road. Forgot to, forgot to heal up the car. And now a bike gang is following us out of the settlement. Uh, here's one of the encounter minigames. you got to move your car. You've got to just bash folk off their bikes. Pretty simple fare. You'd think that this would damage the car more than uh, them shooting at it, which is the alternative, but uh, let's let's just not get into that. Video games, video games, video games. 
We're driving along, Sydney's in the back, like, they're coming up behind us, I've never been so scared in my life! Cork's just like, ah, keep your shit together, lassie. <laughs> keep your fucking shit together, I've been through worse than this in me fucking sleep. I've never been so worried in all my life, I've never, there's so many of them coming up. We've killed about 20 men, they don't stop. There's hundreds of them, hundreds of them! I'm just like, shut the fuck up back there, I'm trying to drive. And we succeeded thusly. Survived the attack. <laughs>